All right, welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about lazy coroutines and how to make some simple lerping stuff inside Unigen. So, the last time we were in components, we were talking about the update loop and the basic engine loop that we have. Now, for coroutines, you actually just need the update loop because it is fixed updates. And specifically, we're going to be using three of the update loops that we have over here. So in order to do this, we're going to create a component class which allows us to access the loops that we have created. We're also going to be creating a few widgets. Don't worry about it. We're going to talk about them later. So for all these widgets, the main thing is we're going to have a slider which allows us to reset the time whenever we change uh, the timing. So in our loops, we're just going to connect specific uh, times and the frames to its specific loop. Now, in our case, you can have the time in async or update, but for now we just chose it in async. The update is being framed with the FPS, while the physics has a fixed frame of 1 over 60 that we have set. You can change that, but better off stay like. So the next thing is lerp, and the most famous lerp that we are going to talk about is the standard constant linear lerp, which just goes from A to B. The ease in lerp or the exponential then there is the ease out which is slow to the end then there is the mix between them which is ease in out or both and then there's the ping pong each one of these lerps have their own different characteristics and they give character in their movement as seen in these boxes here that they move at a specific rate even though they reach the final goal at the same second now we can have different ways of doing this over and over again and there are many different other types of lerping but these are the more famous ones that we're going to be using just to code for us today so in order to code this we are definitely going to be using a little bit of helper functions that we will leave in the github so don't worry so the first thing we're going to do is create a helper class which allows us to use the lerp and we're just going to use a little enum to help us out with that. Then we're going to capture all the objects that we want and we're going to give them the specific lerping style and we're going to set it in our uh, game. So when we look inside here, we can see that they are going exactly like the characteristic plan with the first one being linear, second ease in, last one, uh, third one's ease out, fourth one's the mix, and the last one's the ping pong, which just goes from front to end and repeated. So the last thing we're going to talk about is actually a parameter called curve2d, which we add in our component, and it gives us this little graph that we have over here. Now the graph is scrollable with the scroll wheel. You can also hold control and you can move one of the axis and shift, you can move the other axis. And you can revert and do all that. So for us, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna zoom out a little bit so we can have the thing going from zero to one. So now we have that time on the bottom, the X. Right click to add a key and we have a value at a certain point, which we're gonna zero it. We're gonna add another key, which is going to be wherever you like. And then we also are gonna add one more key at the end, which allows us to move. Now, if you look at it, some of the keys have these arrows, which you can use to extend the curve and make it a little bit more um, curvy or bezier. And that's the mathematical way of doing it. So in our case, we can do whatever we like around here let's just choose a specific customized curve that we make over here which allows us to just move the object from wherever it is to 37 percent of the way or in this case 0.5 percent of the way and then go back to the front with a little bit of character movement and style so this is very much whatever you like so after doing whatever you like with the curve, we can press start and play it. And then what we'll see is our final object, the new one that we added, allows us to move the curve or move in the specific way of the curve that we created. And this is the power of the new curve 2D parameter that has been added in Unigen. The next thing we're also going to talk about is these clamp 
placement. Clamp is normal, while ping pong and loop are the new ones. So ping pong, the difference between uh, loop and ping pong is loop stays exactly how you expect it, while ping pong will return it back to its original position from where you went as a reversal. So whatever you have in that zero to one, it's gonna reverse it and then continue doing it over and over again. Now, if you wanted to change it to loop, it's gonna take that zero to one, copy paste it over and over again across the loop at that same frequency that you have. The freedom of using this curve really helps uh, change the dynamics of, instead of coding anything, you could just use the curves to allow you to create these um, special types of interactions and shapes. Now finally, what we need is a quarantine button. And to do that, we're just going to create a little button, a widget button, which allows us to animate. And we're going to have a few things inside here where we check if we can animate or not. And we're just going to allow the object to animate when we click on the button. Other than that, we have the little lurping thing in the bottom that you can check out. So while we press play, now we can see that everything moves exactly how it wants whenever we press the play button. We change the timing and it allows us to do that. Now if we change the timing while the playing is uh, being commenced, we reset it and we allow it to do the full animation and then it stops. So now we have a lazy coroutine, which allows us to have the full features of a coroutine and it's agnostic to the timing. So it's not frame dependent, but it is whenever we like it to be. So with all that done, I believe we have a certain set for animations. So until then, I will see you guys next time. All right, goodbye.